What's going on guys? This is Frank Katzis and Rope Dart School is in session. All right guys, very exciting. We're going to start to dive deep into the history of Rope Dart and Meteor Hammer. If you have not watched part one of this series on the history of the Rope Dart, I highly suggest you watch part one so that you can understand some things that are going to be happening in part two. A more in-depth transcript of this entire video will be available on our blog at ropedarts.com. All right, in part two, we're going to start to look at historical accounts, both from printed literary works of fiction, as well as printed, factual, historically accurate military manuals. We're also going to start to pinpoint supposed dates and be able to formulate somewhat of a basic timeline of the rope darts history and origin. On a scholarly level, we can't claim that some of these fictional tales represent accurate historical information. We can, however, use these folklores and legends to begin to sketch a rough picture of what the rope darts origins and history might have looked like. Sit back, relax, and enjoy part two. The book Soft Weapons, Nine Section Whip and Rope Dart has the rope dart first appearing in a military battle legend during the Western Han Dynasty. Other legends such as the Tale of Three Kingdoms, which appropriately takes place over 100 years later during the Three Kingdoms Dynasty, makes mention of the meteor hammer, but not the rope dart. The oldest physical dart style head I have seen can be found during the Yun Dynasty, which is over a thousand years after both the Western Han and Three Kingdoms dynasties. Dart heads could predate the Yun Dynasty, however, I haven't seen them. One can see that the accounts of the rope dart and meteor hammer, whether fact or fiction, have been peppered throughout time. Stories spring up here and there, but it's mostly just scattered and unreliable. Further, most will find that historical source information has the rope dart seldom mentioned, if at all. Instead, Meteor Hammer, the rope dart's proposed twin sibling, is mentioned. As previously mentioned, the book Soft Weapons, Nine Section Whip and Rope Dart has the rope dart first appearing in a legend from the Western Han Dynasty. As the legend goes, during a battle, a general named Du Mu used five throwing darts against the opposing general Chang Peng, who was horse-mounted, with each throw resulting in failure. Du Mu then used his rope dart and knocked Chang Peng off of his horse to the ground. This legend found in Soft Weapons is the only account I found in a printed literary work that mentions the weapon as rope dart by name during that dynasty. According to Gu Jinhe, the Sifu of rope dart legend Daniel Piscina, the rope dart was in fact used as an anti-cavalry weapon with the rope being at least 18 feet or longer. Looking at earlier written fictional material, we can begin to sketch a rough picture. The Three Kingdoms Dynasty, one of the bloodiest of all dynasties, consisted of three warring states, Wei, Shu, and Wu. Translated into English by Moss Roberts, Three Kingdoms, attributed to Lo Guai Zhang, is a fictional epic tale that takes place during the time of the Three Kingdoms dynasty. A scene from Three Kingdoms depicts the fight between generals Ma Chao and Zhang Fei. According to Roberts' translation, Ma Chao, realizing he could not prevail, decided to trick Zhang Fei into pursuing so that he could twist round and catch him with the brass hammer he held in his hand. Zhang Fei ducked as the hammer flew past him, and it whizzed past his ear. Zhang Fei turned back and Mao Chao gave chase again. Zhang Fei fitted an arrow to his bow, but Chao dodged the shot. At last, the two generals returned to their lines. It's true, Three Kingdoms is a tale loosely based on historical fact. In example, the progression of the Three Kingdoms is real. Equally true, however, this scene depiction in this painting comes hundreds of years after the Three Kingdoms dynasty. However, the passage of time doesn't necessarily mean fake. 
For instance, if we read a fictional tale that takes place during the Trojan War, the characters might be made up, however the tale wouldn't include machine guns and helicopters. Details would be kept as accurate as historically possible. Given the dynasty that the tale Three Kingdoms takes place in, can we hypothesize that this picture is evidence of a meteor hammer, in battle no less, as far back as 220 CE, or is it merely artistic license? Considering other elements of the rope dart and meteor hammer being military issued. Weapons such as swords, pole arms, and cudgels are considered primary weapons, whereas a rope dart is considered a tertiary weapon. This means that a soldier would be more likely to fight with a spear or sword and shield before they would fight with a rope dart. While the previous Western Han and Three Kingdoms legends have the rope dart used in the military, we should consider the ineffectiveness of a rope dart being used in a battle. Soldiers clad in body armor would not suffer the full effects of a rope dart or meteor hammer striking them. Certainly a rope dart wouldn't penetrate armor. Further, the range of the rope dart seems impractical. At a distance, an army would use arrows. In close quarters, spears, swords, and the like would be the weapons of choice. Within a melee, a soldier would not have enough room to spin a rope dart, much less fight with one and save themselves effectively. But maybe we're all wrong. Could some soldiers have been issued a rope dart-like weapon in times of battle? It's certainly possible. Mention of a spiked meteor hammer did make its way into the Wubei Zi. The spiked meteor hammer is and is not the same as a rope dart. Other than the style and shape of the head, we must also consider the difference between rope versus chain. Looking at weapons like this and others, I feel compelled to believe that some soldiers were issued rope dart-like weapons in times of war. Okay, so what did we find? To start, the very first mention of the rope dart being on the scene comes from a legend uh, during the Western Han Dynasty. Now, the Western Han Dynasty mostly took place in the BC timeline. It goes a little into CE, Common Era, about 24 years or so, but it mostly takes place before the year zero. That's really old. Now, after this supposed first look at the rope dart in the Western Han Dynasty, the rope dart then becomes virtually unheard of and unseen until about 12 to 1300 years later during the Yun Dynasty, where we found some archaic traditional rope dart heads, well, one, from that era. In the 200s, during the Three Kingdoms Dynasty, the mention of a meteor hammer comes up quite a few times in folklores and tales. Here's what we have so far. The very first mention of a rope dart coming onto the scene happened sometime around the year zero, plus or minus a few years. About 200 years later, the meteor hammer comes onto the scene and is mentioned a few times in a few different folklores and tales. The oldest physical dart head we have does come from that Yun dynasty. Again, you're looking at about 12 to 1300 CE. During the years 13 to 1600 or the Ming dynasty, we see a picture that depicts a scene from Three Kingdoms that has generals Mao Chao and Zhang Fei fighting each other. In this picture, Ma Chao, the general, is wielding a meteor hammer. In around the 1620s, we see a spiked meteor hammer show up in the Wu Beizi, which was a military manual of weapons and tactics. Mostly, every single physical meteor hammer or dart head that we have comes from the Yun, Ming, and Qin dynasties. Lastly, and what I found the most intriguing, is that while we have found so many different meteor hammer heads, different sizes, shapes, and weights, we only found one dart head? Is that right? One? It almost makes no sense. Next up, we're going to continue our investigation into the origin of the rope dart and the meteor hammer. Peace, love, dart life.